Oh, no, you weren't. You were 20. I you were the oldest one in the school. Right. No, 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 no. No, who was the oldest? Sal, 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 but Ingram was 26. Wow, that's well, because right. he told the draft board to get fucked, and they fucking came and got him. They were doing that. Yeah, they were doing that. That's a true story. Well, Let me tell you something. This guy, Jim Mulherin, in our, in our platoon, oh, yeah. Yeah. is probably the toughest motherfucker. You, he's not big. Well, not big. He's lanky. He, 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 well, he's, he's six tall. feet tall. Well, you know, he, he was, was, he was, 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 was an iron worker. He had a big Cadillac convertible, and they came and fucking got his ass. But I'm telling you what, nobody fucked with him. You, you and, and Landry and him got in fights with that. Remember, you were fighting that one night with those other platoon. Who the fuck was that? I don't know. Remember? We got so many fights with that. Oh we're, fuck! But Mo Heron, it was just well, well, fight well, 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 When we just, came back to the base camp, you fight each other. No, no, it was yeah. fight night. No, yeah. Fight yeah. Night. Yeah. oh, that's bullshit. No, we didn't fight each other. No, you know, just fight the other guys. The other guys. The other guys. Well, that was. Ridiculous. Actually, the second yeah, battalion—it was, it was, it was the like a cold battalion. Right, right, right. <laughs> the second battalion was say here. The fourth battalion was here. They got into a fire fight with each other in the base camp. <laughs> I mean, M16. Yeah, it was wow. And you know, I tried to explain today. The problem was, at least in our platoon. We had fucking guns everywhere. Yes. You didn't put your guns back in the Connex box. We had the shit guns. Frags and claymores. You had your flag with grenades, flag Yeah, we put our guns away. No, in your flag, Jack, you had fucking rubbers. You had to shut your guns down. And then when you go out and out, we took Hey, look here. You about us? We just kept them right the fucking couch. We was up in our, we was up in our cartoon, right? Right before Doc told They sent me up to the bill of POW camp. Okay, we built a POW camp. I never forget it. The mother brought this chop Atlantic, kicked this damn, kick this, kick this body out, right? That kick what? Like, kicked the body out. Oh, she yeah. Got hit a 50 caliber hole from our face gone. God damn. Oh, 50. Then we got a call. The mother chopper gone. We're coming in with, that mother said, we're coming in with three, three, uh, three POWs. That mother got in on half one. <laughs> <laughs> He said the other two jumped on the helicopter. Yeah, right. <laughs> Goddamn right. You know what I'm saying? So we, we had we we had this this guy right. We uh, M I you know they touched this guy all night long. You know on a field phone. Right. Oh they yeah. Hook, hook the thing to the nip. <laughs> oh, and put him in a drum. Bam, bam. That motherfucker wouldn't say shit. <laughs> So they told me I had to take them up to the Arvin camp to the Koreans. I put them over the hood of my guns. Oh, I don't put them with the Koreans. I put them with the Koreans to do it. The Koreans are chopped. They'll fucking do it. Let me tell you what happened. I put them over the hood of my guns, right? He was on the hood. I told my driver, I slam on brake, dog. Bam! You know what? Another story before Dominic got there when we were with the Australians. And the New Zealanders, they they had a I don't know if you weren't I don't know if you weren't in the field with us yet, but they had a platoon of Maoris with them that they took to the field with them, and they told us, don't fucking talk to them, don't try and trade them, don't try and do anything with these motherfuckers, because they will fuck you up. <laughs> and what we would on on one operation with the with the Australians, what they would do on a fuck we call them remember we call them county fairs. Yeah, we'd go into a vill. And then we'd back off and they'd send these fucking Maoris in there, they kill everything. Everything. Chickens, everything. Pigs, people, babies. They hated those fucking goops. <laughs> the Maoris, huh? Maoris. Maoris. Oh, yeah. It's a M M A O R. Yeah. Well I know. I was I was I, I dated yeah. I went to New Zealand and Yeah. I, yeah. I they told them. us don't fuck with them, don't talk to them, they don't like you. Don't try and trade them shit Look if it. they don't want anything you got. And the moral of the story was, I, we took them up to the Rock Korean, right? We pulled up and turned them over. Look, like I said, we captured him last week. <laughs> what? <laughs> shit. And, and my interpreter, I said, hey, last week? He said, yeah, he definitely done. <laughs> he can't talk and he can't goddamn hear. <laughs> And then I was fucking on him? Touching this motherfucker all night long. And he couldn't I talk and couldn't hear. Couldn't hear, goddamn. You know, we had, I, I remember times in the field where they told us about the and some shit. I can't remember where we were. They said, you're going to hear some noise tonight. Don't pay attention to it. 
I don't know, the CIA. Remember, you remember all those fucking, those airplanes we'd see, those Air America airplanes? Oh, yeah, they came up with the Well, I didn't know who the collars. fuck they were. They had Levi's on. Yeah. They had an Oxford shirt on. Like, who the fuck are these guys? I didn't realize, I'm so stupid. I didn't realize they like Vietnam. Those are all CIA guys. It was all CIA. And they'd fly these French stole planes, yeah. which is short, uh, short runway. Uh, they could land at 50 feet. Yeah, they feet. could land in that backyard. Yeah, they were unbelievable. And you see these fucking things in the middle of nowhere thinking, who are these fucking guys? Yeah. They were all CIA. And were they like, like sporting heroin out of there? Uh, who out knows? But they wouldn't talk to us. They, they were on their well, own shit. Know, they, they, they were on their own. <laughs> <laughs> right? The <laughs> only ones that really worked with them close were special forces. The Mons? They, yeah, the Nungs, the Rade. Yeah. Because when we were up at Docto, we put a whole known troop, yeah. troop together to go into Cambodia. And the CIA trained them, mm -hmm. you know, in counterintelligence, you know, intelligence people. We brought them motherfuckers into Cambodia. They kill everything. Oh, oh, fuck. They killed a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and then they took trophies. Yeah, they were pretty tough. The fucking Koreans. We go out on fucking patrols and come home with heads. You mean the rocks? The, belts. the yeah, rocks. rocks. Yeah, rocks. Rock and, 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 and big motherfuckers. That's yeah. Big Remember that? Koreans? Big motherfuckers. Oh, they had, fuck, we used to call them blockheads. Man, they're, they're fucking big. heads like that. But they're huge. Six foot, six yeah. one, six two. Big boy. And you never saw a little one. And you know what? You talk to them, they look at you like, you piece of shit. Yeah. You couldn't talk to them. Yeah. How many heads you got hanging off your belt? <laughs> yeah. No. Well, they, they, talk. they wouldn't talk they to you. They were bad. They go out on ambush patrols and shoot in the fucking air to let the fucking enemy know where they were. <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were bad news. They were crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. You know, one of the things we didn't talk about that we used to do, I think I'm sure Dominic and I probably did it, we would take grenades. When we were in the rubber, I don't know if you were with us in Michigan. Yeah, yeah, down in Michigan. Yeah, we would take the grenades and put them in these canisters that they came in, and we'd put them in a tree, in a fork of a tree, and yeah. put the grenade in the canister with comma wire up and over another tree, pull the, pull the pin so the spoon can't go. As soon as and then if, out. And then if something happened, yeah. like we had, we had the, the, these things called trip flares. When the trip flares started going off, we'd pull that, and that fucking grenade would swing. Fuck, whoever was there fucks you up. We learned a lot from it. It would that. swing before it blew up? Is that yeah. What oh, yeah, yeah, it was swinging yeah. when it would blow. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so it was kind of like an air burst. You, yeah. air burst. Oh, you, me right. you remember You remember that, who was uh, that black guy, kind of a heavy set black guy, was, uh, was a clerk, and we took him on an ambush, and he set the whole fucking rice paddy on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Was I don't know if you were there. I don't, I don't think I was there. We used, to, we used to use claymores when we go on Oh, man, man, nothing more yeah. dangerous than that motherfucker. But it's got, it's got uh, legs that are scissors, and you'd scissor them, and then you swing down. We would put a frag mm -hmm. under the leg yeah. and pull the pin. So if the gooks pick the frag up and turn it around, it's going to go off and fuck them up. Yeah, well, because they used to do that. They one of, one of ben, I think here. it was Ben's best buddy, this this fucking clerk. We took him. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, if you saw him, you was know. Was he black him. guy? Yeah, black guy. <laughs> Fat guy? Yeah. I'm trying to think Anyways, of what But we wouldn't let him use a fucking frag because he was he'd a never been in the field. He was a clerk. He was a clerk. <laughs> but he wanted to get a CIP. So anyway, we let him use a trip flare. Okay. He started a whole motherfucking field on fire in the on an ambush, and we came back in through the eleventh true story through the eleventh cab, and we had to have a running password. We came in through M48 tanks, six guys. Leonard was Leonard walked up to the tank and, and made contact, and I was fucking I like scared was to fucking death walking up to those. Was These guys got stuff. starlights. They got fucking M's, They got fifty cal machine guns. They got beehive rounds and work. <laughs> and a bunch of scruffy looking GIs are going to walk up to that perimeter of all these fucking tanks because that one black buddy of you. <laughs> 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 well, I got my goddamn buddy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that. That's before you I got there. Caught that whole fucking field on. That was in, during the dry season. And he fucked up, you know, like, and the flare went off. We're out there putting the fucking fire out, thinking they know, you know, what yeah, yeah, of course. Right. Right. Not everybody yeah. knows where the fuck we are. Yeah, it's so like up Leonard the made the decision to go back in through the perimeter. I'm going, oh, fuck, let's just lay out here. Let's just lay out here all night. You know, we didn't, they didn't, oh, man. And Ben, you were there for what? 
How many he was years? there for 13 years. Yeah, uh, man, I got about it. I got that May the, May the 5th, 1965. That when, matter of fact, that when the 173rd Airborne deployed. I yeah, he went on a rock. Walking out. Walking out. Walking out. Yeah, out. In, in an interview. Yeah. I stayed there until uh, August of 68, I believe it was. Yeah, they fucking told him he had to leave. Told didn't they? To leave. Yeah, they wouldn't let him stay no more. <laughs> no, man, the reason I came home, my girl. There was no pussy left the in, in that water. There, no, there was nothing to fuck left. The reason I came home, my girlfriend was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It was like fucking crazy. I guess he did a lot of fucking over there. Huh? You and you Smitty. You remember the first Smitty. You and fucking Smitty. Yeah, Smitty, you know, you Smitty know didn't like me. I found, yeah. a, picture, I found a picture of him. What? My daughter got. I was friends we with both. Yeah, I got too close. When we were shaved, we always had my hair shaved. Yeah, right. No shit. We, we had our hair. Yeah. I couldn't. You know, we always called him Smitty. I don't know his I name. I know his first name, his last name, and all. And he, he didn't like me because I got close to you. <laughs> so he didn't like me. I used to tell him, you know, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> I said we're friends. That's all. What well, friends did he live? Work? I don't even remember what he lived in. He lived down by the motor pool. Yeah, he was in the motor pool. Yeah, he never lived with us. No, he never did come. Oh, goddamn Smitty, boy. Remember Coop? Who? I know you know Coop, because he came over with the battalion. Coop. Coop Cooper, Cooper Tennis, or whatever. Yeah, I, know, I remember the name, Coop. Yeah, uh, Sean Vett knows him real well. Anyway, you guys want to have fun, you ought to come to one of our reunions. You see some shit. Well, you know, I went with Dom to one. Remember yeah. that? I yeah. went